Now to the tax fraud case against former President Donald Trump's namesake company. The case expected to head to the jury tomorrow. ABC's Aaron Katursky is here with more on that. Aaron, good morning. Good morning to you, Whit. Former President Trump has not been charged with the crime, but the jury sure heard a lot about him as the trial of his company now nears an end. Prosecutors said Trump explicitly authorized tax fraud when he signed off on part of a scheme carried out by several Trump Organization executives, primarily Alan Weisselberg, the former chief financial officer who has pleaded guilty. Prosecutors showed the jury checks Trump signed to pay for Weisselberg's grandchildren to go to private school. Just one perk never declared as income. The defense told jurors they heard no evidence Trump was aware of anything improper. And even the judge said he would tell the jury to limit how much weight to give statements about the former president because whether he knew about the scheme doesn't really matter. Prosecutors believe his company is guilty because its top executives arranged their compensation to evade taxes and to help the company pay less in salaries and bonuses. The defense argued the executives never intended to benefit the company. Whatever scheme they hatched, the defense said, was done solely out of greed. And with this may seem like small ammunition against a giant target, a former president who is again running for the White House. I know something a lot of people watching very closely. Aaron, thank you. We appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.